I'm a Youth for Peace champion. I work for an organization that is promoting peace and working on uh, conflict prevention in Nigeria. This is an area that I have uh, invested so much and uh, that's because over the years we've seen a lot of securitization, especially around the participation of young people in violence. Uh, over time, young people have been tagged as victims and perpetrators of violence, not just in Nigeria, but it's a global phenomenon. So I've been working to ensuring that rather than seeing young persons as perpetrators and victims of violence, but we can leverage on the huge resources and potentials that they, that they possess, I mean, to, to contribute to peace building. So this is, this is an area that I'm very passionate about. So on this project, basically, I have like, um, I have four activities that I'm supposed to implement. Uh, the first one is supposed to be monthly Youth for Peace Hangout. Uh, the second one is um, advocacy visit to relevant stakeholders working on peace and security. Uh, the third one is um, social media campaign around, around peace and security issues. And then lastly is uh, the international commemoration of the International Day of Peace. Every month, uh, we gather young people across Abuja uh, between the ages of uh, 18 to 35. We discuss critical component of peace and security uh, in Nigeria and how young people can fit in, what young people can do, I mean how young people can contribute to the electoral process and ensuring that there is no violence. We've had sessions on, I mean, the power of social media uh, in peace building. We've had, you know, other interesting sessions alike. Uh, we've also had a series of advocacy visits on this project. We visited uh, the National Orientation Agency. We visited the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, the Ministry of Youth and Sport. These are critical stakeholders that are working on peace and security and with, with particular focus on young people in Nigeria. And the kind of reception that we got when we visited these actors were very, very, uh, very positive. We started this project at a time when the federal government of Nigeria just adopted a national action plan on UPS and security. Nobody knew about it. So part of what we I mean, intended to do with this project was to raise awareness around this national action plan. At every of our monthly hangouts, the focus usually is always this Nigeria's national action plan on UPS and security. We take time to talk about I mean, uh, the various pillars of the National Action Plan, vis-a-vis -vis participation, vis-a-vis -vis protection, partnership, prevention, disengagement and engagement, disengagement and reintegration. And I would say that for, I'm not sure there is any person that attended any of our anger that is not aware of this National Action Plan. So to a very large extent, I would say that we have raised some kind of awareness around this policy framework. I've seen a lot of changes based on, as a result of this project. And one of those basic things that I've really noticed is that a lot of people are becoming more and self-aware of what it means to have peace and understand what it means to pr promote peace everywhere. And then what it means to also speak up about what they're feeling or what they're going through as well. So this cause, more than anything, I feel like that change is really something that we're really going ahead of it. Yeah, I see that people are more accepting of peace, peaceful ways of mediating amongst themselves substituting for the violent ways people tend to approach their differences and so that such that now people are more res recipients of their differences and they can speak about speak out about what they think and what they feel things should be like well I, I think that the momentum that we have built I mean the little successes that we have recorded, should not just be allowed to go up in the flames. I, I think that there should be some kind of uh, mechanism to ensure that, I mean, this is sustained. Uh, maybe not by us, maybe not by me, maybe not by this set of advocate, but that the momentum around youth peace and security issues in Nigeria uh, is sustained. It's, 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 it's very, very, very critical. <laughs>